So you talk about that behind the scenes, yep. that, that strategy. We hear it all the time in Washington, but it's interesting to see you comment how strong it is on the state oh, level yeah. as well. So how do you break through it? Because I know you're probably not the most popular person <laughs> in Colombia, but what's, what's kind of the strategy that you and the whole House Freedom Caucus are taking? Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's been interesting um, kind of seeing how it works and everything. Uh, I came in and, and joined the Freedom Caucus uh, the South Carolina House Freedom Caucus almost immediately. Um, and my brother is, is the chairman of that as well. And uh, one of the first things that we did, uh, there was this, this loyalty pledge um, that the caucus put together that essentially said, you have to support incumbent Republicans no matter what. You can't do anything that would be considered a campaign activity at all. You can't uh, you know, post pictures of the voting board. You can't uh, endorse candidates, even if they're family members that might be running against an incumbent, anything like that. And, and that's so, across the state? Yeah, across wow. the state. Anyone anyone that's a, an incumbent. And so uh, we were like, well, we're, we're not going to sign that. So we refused to sign it. And because of that, we were ejected from the South Carolina House Republican Caucus. Um, so that's been really, really interesting. Um, I, tell, I, I joke with uh, some of my Democrat colleagues um, they'll come up and say something about the minority caucus. And I say, well, actually, I'm in the true minority caucus because there's only 20 of us. There's 30 some odd of you and there's, you know, 70 on the Republican side. And they're like, well, that's true. Yeah, you, you guys are the smallest caucus now. So. <laughs>